heading right back to the main one. Wait, hold on. Did we even unlock that last one? Do we even need to at this point? I think we saw. So it's not going to let me run around. something listen what do you say we get out of here like right now Ugh. oh you better be careful all right ah the prodigal child himself Perhaps you could indulge me in a short chat? You needn't worry. I'm alone. You certainly share your humanity with Yakumo. But do you share his beliefs? Do you agree with his aims? A most pleasant surprise. You are more perceptive than I gave you credit for. That man doesn't matter. It's you I have questions for. Which side of this conflict do you stand on? Are you for the humans or the demons? I suppose I side with the humans. But surely a goddess can be partial to her own creations? Even if demoted to demonhood.
And you aim to seize the throne of creation? Well, as a means to an end, certainly. To take it simply for power's sake would be a touch petty, don't you think? Yakumo and I share a vision. It's why I lend him my power and why I strive to see his world come to fruition. <laughs> Poor Yakumo's zealotry does tend to leave a bad impression. But what nobility in his soul, in his aims. As far as I can tell, he doesn't even trust his fellow man. A most shallow appraisal, my dear. Yakumo loves his fellow man perhaps more than any other. He rejects humans who have given up, precisely because he believes in humanity's potential for strength. Do you understand, child? I suppose that's only to be expected. Few truly do. Those of the Yakumo family have always been officers of the law, you see. Would-be agents of justice, living to protect the meek. His mother was a medium. She helped those tormented by dark spirits. However, one such sufferer was seduced by a demon's promises and slaughtered Yakumo's entire family. Hate the crime, not the criminal, as they say. But the platitude rings quite hollow when the criminal has no desire, no capacity for redemption. If violence and evil are all they know, all they will ever be, then what can a man of justice do but strike them down? Pretty words have never been enough to save the world. What are you doing, Nua? Ah, oh, here he is. So ends our idle chat, then. Farewell. Perhaps the will of mankind is stronger than I knew. Oh, that could have been bad, huh? Totally. But you know what? That demon woman? I think she might be in love with that human. No, wait! Maybe she loves all of humanity, and that man is supposed to be a symbol of it or something. I don't know. Hmm. Either way, it's kind of complicated. But that was love for sure. It's like how I love when you get all upset. <laughs> you know? Just like that. But I... Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Okay, for whatever that was supposed to be. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is Hindu demon territory. <laughs> yeah, definitely is. Their leader is supposed to be this demon named Shiva, but I heard this other guy, Vasuki, is the one running the show right now. Vasuki's like a big old snake or something, isn't he? Like Yamato no Orochi. Bet you he's a schemer. Never trust a snake, right? Totally. Here you go! Yeah.
that's supposed to be the throne. Oh, you want some? Well, do you? Nahobino from the Japanese branch. So, you seek the keys to the throne of creation, do you? It is true. We do possess a tool that unlocks the Empyrean, the key of austerity. Now, we have no desire to assume the throne, as the right to remake the world is Lord Shivers and Lord Shivers alone. To that end, I've been keeping close watch on this key to see just who's foolish enough to come after it. And here you are. How truly delightful. Now I can vanquish both you and this infernal idleness in one fell stroke. I bet this is gonna be some BS where, since he's not the one that's actually in charge, he, he don't have the key. Oh, I got this feeling that they're gonna try to do me like that. I got a strange feeling they're gonna try to do me like that. Beat the fire. Oh, 
Got him. Such strength. So this is what it means to be a Nahopino. How utterly terrifying. Forgive me, Lord Shiva. Hmm. The Empyrean, otherwise known, these pillars are you have obtained. Well, it is true that a new ruler must be willing to hear the voices of his people. He must also discipline himself. For that purpose, show no leniency, and expect none in turn. Austerity must be upheld. You have obtained all three keys representing the three pillars of the Empyrean. You now have the right to tread the same path that the Creator and I once did. Follow the Goddess. Make for the Empyrean. Huh? What's wrong with me? I can hear this voice in my head. There you are! I finally found you, Amanazako! This is bad. Very, very bad! Sorry, I gotta run. Just promise you'll come see me again later, okay? Cool! It's a pr- uh, You won't escape! Yeah, there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> 